hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another new kind of mod video so as you guys have already read from the caption this video is going to be about the dlss enabler now what is this dlss enabler how you can use it uh, which game will it supports and in which scenarios you can't use it so we're going to discuss everything in this video so let's begin without any delay game rental slash offline activation service basically any game you can imagine uh, i have that like call of duty modern warfare 1 2 3 star wars jedi survivor avatar Phantoms of pandora and many more so if you are interested in that you can comment down below or join my discord and come to the particular group <clears throat> so first of all dlss enabler is just a simple tool which uh, modifies the games uh, files to enable the dlss even on a non rtx slash amd and intel cards so yeah it will support on all kind of gpu like uh, gtx amd intel uh, so when can you use it uh, you can use it on the dlss frame generation based games like uh, the games which supports uh, dlss frame generation and dlss upscaler like in the game which does not have dlss uh, you won't be able to use it so i'll name few games uh, you can also discover some other games by searching the google query uh, it will work on this alan wake 2 uh, also work on cyberpunk 2077 spider-man remastered spider-man miles morales uh, and few others so yeah this is the fresh installed copy of uh, the alan wake version 1.1.0 which is the latest update dropped maybe a few days uh, back so right now I have not enabled this uh, DLSS enabler and the setting I'm right now playing on is 1080p with uh, DLSS. You can see the frame tick is enabled but it's actually not uh, activated like this. Uh, it's not actually activated. So yeah, mm, DLSS with uh, everything set on medium, high and some things on uh, low. Like it's the optimized setting which I found on the internet uh, and the frame rate you guys have already seen. It's hovering around. 60 to 65 so yeah let's uh, begin the modding okay so first thing you will be needing is this zip only dlss enabler nothing else so we're going to extract it to the desktop now open it no need to copy it uh, something elsewhere just uh, double click uh, the setup file after that uh, we're going to accept the terms and conditions click next again click next now in here uh, you will need to select the main executable folder of the game's location so where to find it we're going to go to the alan wake 2 right click on it click on the file location now where you see alan wake 2 is installed this .exe is located we're going to click on this uh, address bar the path will be selected we're going to right click on the path then click on copy we're gonna close it now go back to the launcher again select the whole path delete it and paste the path we have just copied like this don't add anything or don't delete anything just paste the path click on next now in here this is a tricky situation like which things you want to install which things you don't so first of all if you have a nvidia gpu uh, you can just click on next and just move on so that's done now if you are on an amd gpu uh, you will need to click on this enable support for amd and intel gpus like right here now below that uh, you will see these things are not tickable uh, so yeah don't worry about this but below that you will see optional reg enabling file like this is the files which will enable disable the signature overwrite like you can get a shortcut of this storage file in your uh, game installation folder so yeah it's uh, worth ticking like uh, you can just test those enable disables uh, also this will be needed if you are a first time install of fsr 3 mods so yeah do tick it uh, also uh, tick this only if you have an amd or intel gpu if you don't have amd or intel if you are an nvidia gtx or rtx user just click on this one and just click on next so yeah i'm just going to uh, uh, untick this one because i already have uh, dlss enabled so i'm not going to tick this one uh, now we need to click next install and it will go like this and we're just going to finish this so yeah let's just jump back into that game and see how much more FPS we are getting 
all right uh, we are back in the game fps is uh, still around the same 50 60 because we have not went to the setting so yeah let's go option graphics now you can see here the frame generation has come online uh, dlss was already enabled because i am using an rtx 2060 that's why but the frame generation was untickable so yeah, now it's tickable we're going to select this frame generation and come back to the game and there we go the fps is now around 90 to 100 so the mod has successfully worked but uh, one more thing i have to uh, warn you or tell you this game keeps the fsr2 asi intact so if you want to use fsr2 you can use it but you won't be able to use the dlss frame generation so yeah there uh, just it's just an warning type of thing so yeah do try this mod on non rtx and amd intel card and let me know if it works or not so yeah this will be it for this video hope this video helps you uh, if it helps you you can subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you are facing any kind of issue and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one cheers